Well, that will be the time to bring it up. It'll be right after this next speaker who's only going to take a few minutes, not because the message is not important, but because he's going to respect your time in all this. So let me now introduce the topic of economic development in Broward County. And among the best in the nation, join me in welcoming Bob Swindell, President and CEO of the Greater Fort Lauderdale Alliance. Thank you very much, Tony, and uh, thank you all for being here. Hey, there's a stage up here, so why not take advantage of it? Um, you know, I have to thank uh, Ben Wesley, who was our chairman last year, who um, he made his year economic development, it's everyone's business. And everyone in this room is involved and has responsibility for the economic vitality of Broward County. Take ownership of it and join us in what we're doing. And thank you for taking the time to be here today. Um, Real briefly, I want to talk about why we do what we do at the Greater Fort Lauderdale Alliance. It's very simple. It's about jobs and capital investment in Broward County. That's it. Case closed. That's why we do what we do. How we do it and the pieces that come together, that's for another talk. But I really want to talk today about what keeps me up at night and what keeps a phenomenal group of people that I work with at the Alliance up at night. And that's making sure that every Broward resident that wants a job can get a job. You know, we've got an amazing governor who truly believes that jobs are what it's all about. You know, as our chief economic development officer, he travels the world, he picks up the phone, he calls business leaders and says, you need to come to my state, you need to come to Florida to meet um, business executives, like our executives that are involved in the alliance, like Mike Jackson, Colin Brown, Rick Case, um, the list goes on and on, Terry Stiles, that have made a commitment and a statement in their community that we're growing businesses here, you should join us because we are a vibrant community, we'll make sure you have the workforce, we'll make sure that the training programs are in place, that when you need employees, you'll be able to find them. You know, we're so fortunate, education is the pillar for this, and I hope you've really enjoyed hearing some of the speakers so far because I sort of see this every day, and I remember I got tricked by Todd LaPace, uh, a fellow uh, Boyd Anderson Cobra, by the way, uh, to come to MacArthur, it was actually he and uh, Brian Cunningham said, well, meet us for lunch. I'm like, okay, great. Well, by the way, we're going to be at the high school, so why don't you just meet us there? A couple hours later, after spending time with two classes that were going through the LEO program at MacArthur, I was hooked. What a great program, what a great example. Today is all about solutions, and the LEO program is one that I am a huge fan of because it's, it's getting students thinking about creative problem solving and how to work as a group. I love that story about the, uh, the Opus Foundation grant. I tell it all the time because that's just a classic example of students pulling together for a program and delivering an excellent result. So again, why we do what we do at the Alliance, it's all about jobs and capital investment. You know, the, the innovation and economic development pillar has four key things that are in the plan that you've got in front of you, and I encourage you to, to visit the uh, Six Pillars Broward uh, Dot org website often because there's new updates there. Um, someone asked me about contact information for speakers. I'll talk to Ron Drew and, and Maggie Gunther, part of the Alliance team, but we'll put information, contact information, if you'd like to follow up with some of the speakers today. We'll make sure that gets out there on the site. The plan, the results, please share it with folks. If you know friends and neighbors that want to get involved with something like this, what you're doing today, just ask them to go to the sixpillarsbrower.org website. They can sign up. I promise you, you won't get inundated with emails, but we will keep folks surprised of what's going on every once in a while about you know, significant results that are being reported out and events like today's events. So it's a great way to stay connected in what's going on in Broward County. But the four key tenets of the pillar for economic development and innovation are the transition Broward County to a net importer of, and creator of talent, attract and retain innovation-hungry companies in Broward, Increased research and development investment and productivity, measured in part, and you'll see this in the results, by the patent filings in Broward. We want to be one of the top rankings in Florida and the nation. Enhance Broward's position in Southeast Florida through initiatives like Florida, your global business connection, where we work with partners like the Beacon Council in Miami-Dade County and the Business Development Board in Palm Beach County. We have a very close-knit working relationship. We believe that working together as a region, we can accomplish a great deal more than just as individual counties. We're fortunate that we have our own critical mass, and we've got our own targeted industries and areas that we go after, but we have a lot of things that we can work on together. Technology through the techgateway.org, the South Florida Global Business Connection, and last but not least, uh, South Florida, 
Life Sciences South Florida, which is a collaboration with our universities and our economic development organizations. Bragging point for Broward County, so is it all working? And that's what you have to think about is as we measure results, is this really making a difference in our community? I'm really proud to report out that through the collaboration of, of leaders from across organizations, and Ron Drew said it best the other day, he was talking to another community that is having a challenge getting their six pillars process get together. And Ron was saying, well, you know, this is how it's working in Broward County. And the person stopped Ron and said, well, you know, it's amazing. He said, you gotta have trust before you can ever get that kind of corporate cooperation and collaboration. And I'm really proud to say that our community with leaders like Patty Asif, with uh, the Broward League of Cities, um, we've got that trust. We've got great partners in the county, in our cities, the Convention and Visitors Bureau, Career Source Broward, Broward College and our local universities all working together. And you're seeing great examples of that today. It's not for fluff. This is really happening. And this is why Six Pillars is working so well in Broward County. But if you want to measure something that I think is important, our biggest success this year is Broward County is we are the second county in the nation ranked number two in the percentage of job growth in our county. This is just our county. That's pretty damn impressive. That's compared, competing against all counties throughout the United States. 32,400 private sector jobs were added in 2014. You know, we had, as I said, the second highest, and I have to repeat that, because that's really impressive. You know, our employment is also impressive at 5.1% now, and we are, you know, right at, at par with other urban counties in Florida. We, you know, we're matched up uh, Palm Beach County and Orange County are a percentage, a tenth of a percentage point below us. But we are ranking in the top, the top 10 of urban counties in Florida with not only unemployment but job creation. And it's because of the collaboration and the work in this room. You know, these solutions are not something that just started a year ago or two years ago. We've been working on these solutions for years. It's important that we share them with you. My call to action as I close is please help tell that story. You've heard some great stories today. Talk about the kids at MacArthur High School and what they're doing through project-based learning. Talk about the amazing things that David shared at Port Everglades. All those logistic jobs. As those ships come in, um, Nikki will probably share with you that we have over 50,000 people at the height of season coming in and out of our port, boarding and disembarking on cruise ships. Think about how do you refuel a ship with food? Think about the eggs, the food, all the stuff that goes on those ships, the linens. How do you change it out that quickly? What an amazing art and science there is to make that happen. Those decisions equal jobs in Broward County, and the port is one of our generators. So my ask of you today is help us tell the story. Thank you. Bob